Friar Faithful, how is it going? They call me Borna AK Hawk. We have some massive news on the Major League Baseball hot stove. Juan Soto, it's looking like his trade is going to happen very, very soon. Just moments ago, Hector Gomez, MLB reporter, put out a tweet saying that sources are saying between the Blue Jays and the trade talks with the Blue Jays and Padres have really intensified for superstar slugger Juan Soto. The Blue Jays now emerge as the favorites to land Juan Soto. The Yankees and Padres negotiations are stalled due to the high asking price by the San Diego Padres. Now the question really becomes how much of that is a leverage play for the Yankees to up their offer versus how much of that is really, really true related to the Blue Jays and their big time reported interest by guys like Ken Rosenthal amongst others related to Juan Soto. We all know that Juan Soto is likely going to be dealt, is not going to be with the Padres for a plethora of reasons. Before we get into the Blue Jays and their potential interest in acquiring Juan Soto, all I ask is guys, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. We are literally 50 subscribers away from 11,000 on YouTube. Let's get this video to 200 likes as the Juan Soto sweepstakes are in full effect. Now we take a look at a team like the Toronto Blue Jays. What do we know about them? They have zero outfield depth. They absolutely need outfielders. So am I looking at a trade like this? It's not just for Juan Soto, but the Potters have also been shot Trent Grisham, who still has two years left of club control. He's only owed $5 million in 2024. He's a plus-plus gold glove defender who has struggled with the bat but has shown occasional pop. It's perfect for the Blue Jays, who need a starting center fielder, and that can make the Padres get another piece in Juan Soto. You take a look at the Toronto Blue Jays and what they have, they have what the Padres desperately need. That's young, controllable, major league ready, and higher echelon prospects from a pitching perspective. You take a look at Ricky Tiedemann, who's a top 31 prospect in all of baseball, a southpaw who does have a little bit of a shoulder issue when it comes to his delivery mechanics, but when you pair a guy like him up with Ruben Niebla, has potentials to be a high-end number two, low-end ace on the left handed pitcher route in Major League Baseball. And of course, the polarizing piece in this trade would be a guy in Alec Manoa who still has four years of club control. First year in 2021, absolutely awesome. 2022 made a Cy Young bid, was an all-star, I believe a 16-game winner at a sub 2.8 ERA. 2023 was the weird year with Manoa. A lot of people called out his weight. He had a 5.8 ERA. They sent him down to, uh, I think, Florida. They put him in AAA for a little bit. Really tough year. If it ain't broke, well, it is broke. How about this? Ruben Niebla will fix it. That could be a perfect candidate that can be an all-star level pitcher for the Potters that needs a lot of work to get back to where he was at. Four years of team control, only 26. Now, when I look at a trade like this, the Padres are probably going to move on from a guy in Juan Soto. It just doesn't make sense anymore from a clubhouse fit, from a financial fit, and they need pitching more than bats. If they're able to flip Soto and Grisham, and then they're able to get Tiedman and Manoa, pair that up with Darvish and Musgrove, and they have Snelling, Lesko, and Iriarte, and other guys coming up in their system. Woo! <laughs> the Padres have not only retooled, but they've put themselves, they've actually opened up their window for many more years to come. Now, from a perspective of adding Trent Grisham in this trade, I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it gets the Padres more value back in return. The Padres have guys where they can just put Fernando Tatis Jr. in center field. I think he is a true center fielder. They can go ahead and make some moves for a guy, maybe even potentially jung Hu Lee, in which the Potters have been really linked to. But I do think the Blue Jays and the Potters are really good trade fits for a few reasons. Number one, the Blue Jays just have a ton of pitching in their system, so I think they'd be more inclined to move off of it. And what? The Padres, they need pitching, and they have some outfitters that they can get rid of. This is why Hector Gomez puts out a tweet saying that the Blue Jays now emerge as the favorites to land Juan Soto, which makes it very interesting from a situation like that. Additionally, the Blue Jays reported biggest rivals, if not still the biggest rival, is what? It's the New York Yankees. So it's a two-pronged thing right here when you take a look at a trade like this. The Blue Jays, for example, they may be overpaying a little bit if you want to do, let's say, Tiedemann, Horwitz, and Manoa, but like I said, it's a two-pronged deal. Getting Soto is not only getting him into Toronto, but it's also keeping him out of New York, which are AL East divisional rivals for the New York Yankees in the Toronto Blue Jays. I think it could be a really interesting play here for the Blue Jays and the San Diego Padres. I think the Padres really, really try and get a deal done here with Manoa team and get two legitimate high-end starters for the future. They give up Juan Soto and Trent Grisham. That's the kind of value that AJ Pryor and the Padres should be shooting for. And I think a team like Toronto, which hasn't won a playoff series, I think only one series in the last 10 years, that's a playoff push move that they may be inclined to make and it helps their foes, the Yankees, kind of stall out, guys. I want you to let Hog know down below what these recent reports mean to you. Do you think Juan Soto is traded by the end of the winter meetings? If so, do you see it in New York? Do you see it in Toronto? Man, if they get Manoa and Tiedman, I would be absolutely jacked, guys.
Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. Tell your mom and dad you love them. It's been your boy, Haggy. And I'm signing out.